the next question uh, the brother has asked me about uh, if following your own will like following your own nafs is a shirk the brother has asked me by following uh, your own nafs and your own desires is a shirk uh, yes this is a shirk but the, we have to understand something the shirk has like a three stages it starts from the minor it has like a second level and the third level which is called like a kabira shirk so the minor shirk and the, from the minor to the major what is the major shirk we directly uh, consider other objects or anyone as a, as a, as a um, helper or we consider something else as a god like in foreign idol worship buddhism um, like a christianity they consider to be the cross uh, hanging on the statue there he's a uh, jesus please be upon him and they consider him as a as a god so that's like a major shirk so those who are standing in front of the idols and uh, asking idols oh god help me oh god help me that's a major shirk so but if you just come down all the way if you following your own desire like you following your own nafs yes that is a shirk but that is on the uh consider as a as a minor shirk because understand something when you say la ilaha illallah that means we would not consider we will not just obey anyone except the the commandments of the quran so when we say that we're going to be following the the commandments of a quran so when the quran says don't do this for an example you're having a party you're having a dinner and uh, it's a time for salah or let's say you're having uh, sitting down and eating and with your friends a political meeting or it could be a family gathering or you have to attend an interview you have to attend to any type of uh, uh, meeting but uh, during that time you have you do not have like uh, enough time uh, you have a very little time for the salah and you are sitting in the middle either it's a political it's a family gathering or you have a dinner it's a lunch or whatever but you have a very little time left for the salah so now your nafs is telling you uh, i'm going to combine that salah with the next salah so now this is something you are submitting your will to your nafs you are not submitting your will to allah so for an example if uh, allah says uh, if the quran says any intoxication is haram and either it could be an alcohol or it could be in the in in the face of music or movie or anything like uh, you have to do the ibadah you have to do the recitation of a quran in the middle you are saying let me watch a little tv let me call my my friend and let me have a little conversation about some on uh, any, any matter so you uh, your nafs is trying to misguide you because the the human nafs is like a shaitan because uh, the prophet sallallahu said when a person is born there is another one who is attached to uh, the person that is a shaitan he does not leave the person until he dies so he stays with that and he's go he misguides the whole life until the person dies so we have to go against our will for example you have a time for salah and now uh during that time you're trying to talk you are wasting your time with your friends and uh, you are wasting a time in watching a tv talking to your friends on unusual things uh now do you are following your own nafs so this is something what we say la ilaha oh allah i promise you i'm going to follow your commandment and i submit my will to your will and not going to uh obey and my own desire desire is something like following your own nafs so when we go against us and that is like we following the commandments of Allah but if we our nafs say something okay let me uh, delay a little salah let me do the Quran recitation later on let me delay the fajr time let me delay uh, any time so this is basically your nafs is misguiding you to disobey Allah so that's like uh, when we say la ilaha illallah that's like we are submitting our will that means we have to go everything what is against our own desire and we follow the desires of Allah and the Prophet because there is a beautiful ayah in um, 
you know, Surah Al-Azab, verse number 70, 71, where Allah says, A'udhu Billahi Amin Shaitan Adin. Alhamdulillah Rahman Rahim. Ya ayyaladin amna taqullaha wa qulu qalan sadeeda yuslih lakum ahmalakum wa yaghfir lakum zunubakum wa may yutillaha wa rasulahu faqad faza faza nazima. And uh, Allah says in, in the Quran, um, Ya ayyaladin amna taqullaha. O oh, you people who believe, fear Allah, have a taqwa. And then when you talk, talk clear and talk straight and fix up your amals and uh, and if you f uh, clean up your amal and you follow the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will wipe out your sins and he will forgive you and those who will follow the, the commandments of Allah and the Rasul his amal, his uh, bad deeds will be wiped out and you will get the fala and you will be successful.